What's up you guys? I'm Tesla and in today's video, I'm going to take you on this culinary tour in Curacao. I'm here on the island right now and Curacao has some beautiful, like super delicious re restaurants to offer. Like actually food is one of the best things we do I'm from Curacao if you are new on this channel. So I'm going to take you along on this journey, share with you some of my favorite restaurants. This video is you know, especially for those who are thinking of visiting Curacao, um, you can check this video out. But also for you guys that want some entertainment some and watch some delicious food. So let's just get right into it. Okay, this first one is a food truck actually. And Curacao is very known for their food trucks. This particular one is called Barbecue Express. And by the way, I'll link all the restaurants below for your reference. But I got the conch with french fries. And honestly, this was so good. Especially if you are a little bit tipsy or you had a few drinks. This goes in like, you know, it's like it's heaven. All right, you guys, so this is the honey cake place that I always love going to. They have just regular plain honey cakes as well. But if I'm going to get one, I'm going to get a good one. So for me, it's the salt fish one. So it has salt fish, avocados, lettuce, um, some garlic sauce, and tomatoes. Super delicious. I love that the, the bun is like a little bit sweet and then the salt fish is of course salty. It's just the best combination. So this is another one, another 10 out of 10 one. Just look at the look at the inside. The dough is like super fluffy and airy. And then the avocado like really balances the salt fish out. And this is what I'm eating for lunch, but of course you can eat this for breakfast as well if you want something hearty. Um, but just, I love to take this like to the beach or just to eat at home. It's a great local um, lunch um, place uh, that I definitely recommend. Next, uh, we went to Soy 95. I love the area where this restaurant is located because there are so many restaurants in this area. It's called Peter Mai and it's adjacent to Avila Beach Hotel. So super nicely located. We started off with some cocktails and this restaurant is like tapas or like shared dining um, style. So you get like small plates. So we ordered a couple of things. This, these are the red snapper satay and the crispy fish. We got some nasi as a side order and also the gado gado salad. Everything was like super delicious. Like honestly, I would say a nine out of 10, if not a 10 out of 10. This dessert was okay. It's not really rememberable. Um, but it was okay, nothing super special, but it's a nice dessert. This is Kenchi. This is like the place that locals go to get their fish. Actually, it's becoming or it has become like very, very touristic, but they have great fish and they have nice views. It is in a very popular touristic area. So it's that's why I think it's fairly, fairly good visited by tourists and you get all sorts of fish. Fish is something that's becoming very expensive on the island. I don't know why, but it is what it is. I got the Kani fish. It's just so good. It's very crispy. Um, I love to hold fish. I can eat with my hands. And that's just, if you are on the island, you should give this one a try. All right, so if you want to try something like really local, I would recommend this place called Chez Suzanne. I will link it, of course, everything below. But this is called Yambo, and it's a okra stew or okra soup. And if you know okra, you know that it is a little bit slimy. So this is going to be slimy, and I love it. <laughs> it's salty, it has like shrimp inside some um, beef or pork bits as well like a little bit of a, um, it's called the 
the tail of the pork which is like super salty and it's just so delicious and then you eat it with this um, corn meal uh, mash or uh, it's like a polenta but polenta is a little bit more runny this is uh, another structure so it's very um, neutral in flavor so it's nice to combine it with the saltiness of the okra soup so but they also have other local dishes so if you want to try like really local cuisine you can check them out normally um i don't like to eat this particular dish from everywhere um, i want it to be homemade but this is a good one if you of course if you're here visiting you don't know anyone so this is a very good alternative the only thing that it is missing i would say is some fish bits normally it also comes with like some chunks of fish inside of it this one doesn't have that so that's that would be my only critique but taste wise it's like very good guys i take it back because i went for a little bit more and now i see that it has some fish pieces even some conch as well but next time i will ask them to put more seafood stuff and less meat that's just the balance is a little bit off there but otherwise this is so good now we are going to bliss the berry this is a restaurant um at the mambo boulevard also a very touristic spot but it's just all the vibes like the decor is beautifully done like a little bit bohemian style i started off with a cafe latte and it was very good very delicious refreshing especially when it's like super hot and then i got the tropical bowl and the great thing about this restaurant is that they have more things on the menu other than just bowls because i know not everyone loves these bowls so you can easily go with you know someone else that doesn't like acai bowls okay this is not a restaurant but it's just like this bakery that i love going to it's called panaderia victoria and i love getting this uh pandushi it's called it's like a sweet bread and it has coconut and i don't know what else but it's i know that it's very good so you can see how fluffy it is like super fluffy on the inside very sweet you can eat it on its own like this or you can put like cheese if you want i put cheese with everything but it doesn't need anything else than just this so definitely if you are looking for something like very local check this one out this next restaurant is again all the vibes it's mood beach and i went here for my birthday you can see like all again the decor very bohemian and just the views are everything and this is in the same um, mambo beach area so very touristic but we got some cocktails which were very very nice and then we went ahead and got um, a lobster roll which was made to be honest also pulled chicken bao buns and some sushi we got the ebi tempura sushi and the black tiger and then we finished it off with this uh, popsicle they didn't have like proper desserts which was a little bit disappointing overall i would rate this restaurant a seven and a half maybe out of ten especially for the ambiance and the decor they got a lot of points but the food was nothing like super spectacular or special it was good it wasn't bad at all but for this price you would expect something a little bit more extraordinary another custom in curacao is the batido trucks this is like a smoothie or like a fruit smoothie kind of thing you can get um, all different kinds of flavors I love going to this particular one and I always get papaya or um, cantaloupe or soursop so there are a couple of uh, my favorite ones but this is like super delicious and refreshing when it's like super super hot outside this is La Reina and it's like a cute little lunch uh, breakfast spot. I love the location again and it's nice to go and have some coffee, do some work maybe and just 
you know, look at the scenery. I love the very colorful houses in the area. I got um, a pea latte, which was very special and it tasted delicious actually. I didn't know this before, but definitely will recommend you try to try this. And I actually got it in my local um, oriental store to try it at home. And I also got a chia bowl, um, like a parfait, which was also very nice. Um, the only thing that I would say is that the candied pecans were a little bit too sweet for my personal taste, but other than that, it was very nicely balanced. Okay, this is a cute one. This is called Chocolat. Um, it's actually a museum, um, but they also, on Sundays, they make bread. It's called Pansera, and it's like a very typical traditional bread in Curacao. People go here, they eat the bread, but also you can get soups, um, like chicken soup, beef Stu uh, soup as well and here you can see how they make it like in very in really the traditional way i would say that this is not the best um pansera bread that i've had but if you want to experience how it's made in curacao with a little bit of history and things like that definitely um check this one out all right now we are going to i would say at the moment my favorite restaurant on the island it's called ceviche it's a Peruvian slash Japanese fusion kind of restaurant. Um, they also have Nikkei uh, next to it, but you can get, you know, the menu is like two in one. But guys, like honestly, I've never had a good ceviche like this. I've had ceviches at a bunch of different places because I just love ceviche. Um, but this is one of the best ones that I've had. It's just a traditional Peruvian one and it's just so good. I even had to go for like a second tiny portion because it was just that good. Like my mouth is like water right now just looking at this footage. Absolutely great ceviche. 100% like recommend 10 out of 10. I could not do this video without featuring this restaurant. This is um, Comedor Criollo and it's the one on the west side of the island. It is in a former plantation site and it's now a restaurant, but I just love it. It's just a very local cuisine, a little bit touristic, I'm not gonna lie, but still like very authentic. I got the tamarind juice to start things off. And the star of the show is this fried red snapper. I mean, you can't go wrong with this one. It's like very crispy and uh, soft on the inside, a little bit salty, uh, just everything. I just, every time I might come here, it never misses. So definitely, if you want like to try local cuisine in a place that's a little bit touristic, but still like very good quality, definitely this is the restaurant you should go to. Okay, so this is X restaurant. This is the first time of me visiting this one. And I have to say it is a great one. It is a gem um, hidden in the middle of nowhere, but I would definitely recommend it. I got the ceviche to, I told you guys, I if ceviche is on the menu, you best believe I'm going to try it. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't the best one I got. And then for my entree, I got the pasta, truffle pasta with shrimp. And then my mom got salmon with scallops. Hers was also very, very nice. And for dessert, we got this panna cotta, which was also like, I think one of the best things so my overall rating for this restaurant i would say is uh, eight out of ten for sure because the service was a little bit lacking if i have to be completely honest but the food was great okay let's finish things off with a bang we went to barrio which is at otra banda it's also very nice 
touristic, a little bit touristic area, but they have beautiful murals and this restaurant has like the best food, the best cocktails, service again, moi, but <laughs> here again, I tried their ceviche. My mom got this uh, French fries and stew, kind of beef stew kind of thing, but I went for the ceviche. This was like head to head with the one at the ceviche place, the actual ceviche restaurant. It was very, very good. And even on like Thursdays, I think they have like live music. So this is just a vibe. If you are in this area, make sure to visit this one. I promise you will have a great time and some great food. All right, you guys, so that was it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, that you, you know, got some pointers. If you are visiting Curacao, and maybe some also some inspiration for something that you want to cook so thank you so so much for watching really appreciate it give this video a like if you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one bye